All right, so we got some mares to check today. And so while we're doing that, Audrey's got horses on the walker and then she's messing with his colt. So Audrey, you say hi. Hi. This is Audrey. So Audrey, she's messing with the colt here. We need to name that horse. So Audrey is helping me this summer. Audrey is my niece. Eddie is her dad. And so she is very good with horses. And so we're going to try to teach her something this summer. So one of the projects I want Audrey to do this year, besides learn how to learn the repro side, is we want to learn how to get this colt started. And we're not going to actually ride him yet because he's just a little bit too young. He's just a yearling. But we want to have, I want to have him driving around, and I'm going to have her working with him all summer while she's working with the other horses too. So, oh. I think he's already friending up to you. He's a sweet little horse. Cool. Right, I'm gonna get the helicopter up. Right. Oh, phone ring. I'm Jason Abraham, and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. All right, so we're going to ease around there and get the helicopter out, get ready for my shooters. I just got one one group of shooters in. You'll be glad to hear that my my barn swallows are still here. I think it, I think it is illegal to do anything to them. They got lots of places they can go hang out besides my house, but I don't know. About every every two or three years, we have have this issue, and look at all look at the crap all over all over my doors. Starting to see some eggs on the ground. Once you start to see eggs on the ground, broke eggs, the party is fixing to be over. So, it won't be long now. All right, let's get this helicopter up. All right, so if you don't know what the rotor recoil is, I know a bunch of y'all do, but if you don't, rotor recoil is a um, shooting experience. Rotor recoil is like the, what I call the civilian side of the shooting course. Uh, normally we do military. And so here on the ranch, I've got a range, it's just for helicopters here on the ranch. It's about 50 miles long and it's a hundred and something targets. And so mainly we're doing military, but then we, um, we do civilians, I don't know, two or three times a week. And they're all, everybody's always fun. It's fun stuff. Look at my, look at my birds. I pissed them off again. I think I've got a husband and wife team today. I don't know if I don't know if the wife's sometimes the wife doesn't shoot and then they don't the ones that do normally are really good. But I'm ready for so essentially uh, the guns we use are LaRue's. So you essentially get this LaRue, you got a brass bag on there. That catches all the brass in here so that I don't have brass all over the ranch. Uh, 300 rounds of ammo. So um yeah so i got one here and one in the back seat with 300 rounds of ammo there so yep so it takes 300 rounds and to get through the course the course is takes you oh, right at an hour to get through the course it depends on how hard you shoot and how fast but usually it's an hour long run so all right well let's roll this hell get this helicopter rolled out Birds 
build a nest up in the in the hinge. So every time I open the door, all the bird nest stuff breaks and falls down. So today I'm gonna take y'all to come ride with me a little bit. I'm gonna ride sister over here first, and then I might end up moving on to Mick. So if I have time, I'll do that. Macho's over there. Probably won't ride him, but yeah. So I've actually never rode sister before and he seems a little little jumpy, a little tight about everything. So I think I'm gonna throw him back on the walker for a minute and then we'll get on and see how he does. Dota and Rhonda. We check Sage for pregnancy. What is the date? Yeah, the ten's close enough. Oh, and then we need and then we need the lose lies. Okay? No, no, okay, it's less. Yeah, Clay, we'll, we'll lose lots Clay and Maddie. So so what we're doing, we we'll just we check them regularly. So like the other day, we checked Mendota and she had a, both of them had CLs. So the CL, what CL is, is when, when a um, when a mare builds a follicle, she yeah. ovulates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then that, that follicle builds back up, it's, we call it a corpus luteum, it's a CL. Right. Yeah. So, that's, so that's what keeps them from cycling again. So then once that CL goes away, they come back in the heat. Okay. okay. So the ones that we're going to lose last, well, they, they ovulated last week and we're, we're letting them cycle through and then we're going to short cycle them back. So we're going to give them a shot of, of prostaglandin to knock the CL out. Got it. Okay. So then yeah. they're no longer producing right. progesterone. Right. And then, and, then, and then the estrogen comes back in and they cycle back up. This is Mendota. Little Mendota. Little Mendota. So this is, so she's out of two clones. He's out of the clone of Smart Little Lena. And then she's out of another another mare I used to have named uh, uh, Playboy's Ruby or Ruby Two. So her mom and dad are both clones. So this mare here, she should be coming in the heat just any day now. So we, I just keep checking her. I I don't like to give them. If I don't have to give them prostaglandin, I don't like to. I just assume I just assume let them come cycling on their own. Right. And you're welcome. You're welcome to come over here and just pull it all Okay. okay. Yeah, so the probe, you figure the probe's yeah. laying just like that. Yeah. I got a little poop. So that's start, that's the start of the uterus. And that's the uterus there. Yep, yeah, you can see it. So we're starting to get a little little edema, not much. So you gotta be really careful in these mirrors when you ultra when you're when you're palpating them that you don't push against the rectum because the rectum tears really easy mm -hmm. and then they're done. Pretty good follicle yeah, right yeah. there. Oh, that's yeah. a big one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So those follicles, she doesn't have a dominant one yet. Maybe the one on the bottom might be more dominant. Yeah, there's about four or five in there. Mm -hmm. That's probably our dominant one right there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it grows about five millimeters a day, and you can see she's starting to get some edema. Yeah. So she's probably, so that's probably 25, so give her three days, she's going to be a breeder. <laughs> Good job, Carlos. been. <laughs> Supposed to be learning as we're going here. I'm learning. Okay. Some of the stuff I've already watched you do too. Yeah. And had it explained to me. Yeah. And I'm used to it, you know. Right. Good. So. Good. Oh, I want you to be able to, you to be able to do it good enough that you can mm -hmm. explain it to somebody else. So this is this mm -hmm. is luteolize or mm -hmm. prostaglandin. So don't don't confuse prostaglandin with progesterone mm -hmm. okay 
So think of prostaglandin as a prostitute. This is makes them feel like a prostitute. Okay? They want to breed after this. So if you give this to a horse that's pregnant, this will knock the pregnancy mm -hmm. out. So you need to be sure. Mm -hmm. You got your sh sh you know what you're doing. <laughs> you built all your pens and mm -hmm. yeah when I when I bought this place the pens were in such a rundown deal yeah it was awesome a lot of branches that we bought we fixed somebody else's ideals up right so I got here and it was like jump yeah and so I just tore it all out and I started planting steel so this mare here is a cologne so it's real important you don't get a vein on this Okay, so what, so what this mare's issue is, is she, we missed her, okay? So she, she ovulated a week ago. Okay. You can put her out. You can put her out. We, so she ovulated a week ago. So she's got a CL in there, CL in there producing progesterone, right? Mm -hmm. So now the CL, we need that CL to go away to be able to breed her again. So I gave her a shot of prostaglandin, which is ludolice, which will knock the CL out, and that will that will let the estrogen come back in. It's gonna be a breeder tomorrow. That's a big old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna yeah. So we're gonna so you, so we got this big follicle. You got that, Audrey? Mm -hmm. Look at that follicle there. That's a big one there, and then the edema. That's a, that's more important than anything because she got a big follicle, but she didn't have the edema. Then it's no go. Because her uterus isn't yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, uterus yeah. Didn't, didn't have the estrogen. Nothing on that. Right. Okay, so here's what we do. So we know she's going to be a breeder tomorrow. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give her a shot today to make her mm. ovulate tomorrow. Mm. Got it. So that way, it, that way everything comes together. This shot can make her ovulate in 30 hours. And so we're 24 hours from collecting tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll collect the stud and breed her. And okay. then that way, they'll, they'll, everything will come together. So you collect the stud the same day that you... Mm -hmm. Yep. And, if I, and, and even if I was ordering semen, if I was shipping semen in, I would order the semen today if, if there's a collection day, and the semen would be in tomorrow. Well, then I'd, give okay. her, I'd still line her up to give her the shot ahead of time. Yeah. Even okay. though she's going to ovulate on her own, this just helps get... The window to instead of having the semen sitting there for 30 hours, right? The semen's gonna right. be there for three hours, right. right? And and everything comes together, and your success rate yeah. is gonna be that much better, yeah. So she does not like shots. So, so the the shot that we give is is an LH, and so it's, it's called Bruce Ellen, or, or it used to be called Desirellen. And so, this stuff, what it does, it makes them ovulate super thick stuff goes into muscles easy easy shot usually we used to use hcg back in the day and then we had a combo of that and this stuff here is way better it's called bruce ellen used to be called desert ellen so then this this goes into muscle not in the, not in the so anytime, so anytime you're giving a horse a shot, it goes right in this spot right here. Okay. And so just we just kind of just confuse the nerves a little bit. Yep. And then always pull back, make sure you're not in a blood vessel. Yeah. Now if we're if we're veining them, we'll go right here. Right. And about okay. about ninety percent of the shots we do, we do vein them with, but mm. not this. You not the shots we're giving in there and ooze out. And... Yeah, this is this is actually it's got a little bit of the oil base in there, yeah. so it's a slow release. Right. This mare here, I showed her a bunch. She's out of Playboy Ruby too. Okay. And metallic, yeah. And she's a great mare. Probably one of the most athletic horses I've ever rode. Mm. Yeah, if you ever hit a vein with this, it will it'll drop them. All right, so we're done with the mare. We, so we flew these guys. They got to shoot. And y'all got to meet Audrey. You'll be seeing more Audrey around. She's behind the camera right now. And then, um, yeah, we checked some mares. Look, we got a, another pregnant mare. It's good. We got two more lewd lice. But like I said, they'll be ready to breed. Should Both of them should be ready to breed Wednesday of next week. Today's Thursday. And then we got another mare that's going to be a breeder tomorrow. So 
that's part of it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and we'll see y'all next week. Oh my gosh, I turned this off.